All right, Trump here, and with a new haircut begins a new journey into a new free-to-play. Watch out for that five-mana fireball. It's coming. Five-mana fireball. Oh, a new challenger. It's Gina Proudmore, the maid. Who will accept this challenge? So, the Grand Tournament uh, has just recently been released, and there's always been the idea of, like, oh man, there's too many sets out there, too many expansions, you can't do a free-to-play now, uh, and I'm like, ah, easy peasy. So, here we are again, we've done uh, In Order Mage, Warlock, which wasn't shown on YouTube, uh, just due to being, eh, it's kind of like in the lost files, but we did, uh, we did mage, we did warlock, we did shaman, and then we did rogue, and then since the warlock one didn't go on YouTube, uh, at the final top five, and it was slowing down a bit with, uh, rogue, get in there. What? No face? Basically, we've done it four times, and this time it'll be uh, with a lot more expansions, the Grand Tournament, uh, Black Rock Mountain, those two weren't in there the last times I did it. Face. Kill this massive gnome, or go for his master. I'm coming for you next, Hogger. Hogger, go face. A spell card. Wow, what a top deck. Get him. Matching stockades with you, Hogger. So a few things about this free-to-play. Uh, I'm doing perhaps up to three things that are significantly different from the past. So, number one, I've actually changed my screen name. So, as you can see from the video, I'm using the screen name Trump still, but actually, I'm playing on another account name. Uh, that's just some overlay magic. Uh, this is for a few reasons. One, kind of want the experience of like someone who's not a recognizable name, and in like free to play number one, there was some drama when like I got to rank one, and then some people like one person or two people like conceded to me. That was a long time ago, but I just thought it would be fun to start on a brand new account and not be under the name of Trump. So... That's number one. Number two. In the previous free-to-plays, I had a general idea of what deck that I was going to use. Oops. Whatever. I, I had an idea of uh, what deck I was going to use. In this one, I'm going to not have any idea what it is going to be. Uh, I'll probably play a few arenas. In fact, I will start off by playing an arena. I don't want to just do all the games first, though, and then... I don't want to do all the arena first and then do the free-to-play, though. I want to kind of mix it up so that in between there's some deck changes. Uh, so... To put it succinctly, I don't know what class I'm going to do yet, and it's going to depend a lot based off of what I open in packs. And I might change classes midway through if I open like a really good pack. Uh, speaking of really good packs, in free to play the Shaman one, I opened Ysera, and I didn't disenchant her, and I didn't use her, and I might have missed lethal there. 
It's okay, it's all VM. Uh, since you actually have about a 1 in 20 chance of opening a legendary, I'm like, okay, fine, this time around, if I actually open a legendary and it's playable, then I'll use it. And if it's not playable, and then I'll disenchant it and use it. Because it's all kind of variants. Sometimes you'll get lucky if the pack opens. Uh, so I will utilize everything. Um, in this one, I won't just disenchant good cards from other classes because I might switch into them. But I will disenchant the bad cards. Complete a game in play mode. Alright, so we're looking for Shaman, Druid, and Priest. Challenge away. Alright, ready to go. Freebie, freebie. That's right, just gotta log on with my HTC phone here. You too can earn one free Hearthstone pack by getting an HTC phone. So here we are, logging on on the HTC phone. Welcome back. I think if I just uh, complete a game in play mode, and I just queue up and uh, concede, I will gain two bonus packs, one for that quest, and one for playing a game on the phone. Here we go. Alright. Alright, here we go. Gotta show the, uh... Gameplay while hiding the name still. Yeah? Here we go. Um. Oh, I guess I have to actually do this before I can. Oh, it's because I'm holding that button. Alright. Here we go. Concede. You win this one. Oh man, there we go. Android phone pack gain. All right, so all I have to do is play three games on play mode. That should be a piece of cake. I am the master duelist. All right, now we have regular quests. Great. Uh, trade off that first quest. Where, where will we? Deal 100 now. We can get a better quest than that. Probably. Maybe. I'm not sure. I think at the beginning you get the lower uh, gold quests. Ah, you're new here. Let me pay for your first run through the arena then. All right. The arena usually requires an entrance fee, but we got a freebie one. 
Let's make it happen. I kind of wanted Mage because it would be good to stack a hero up to level 20 first so I can get my freebie brawl pack. But I guess we have to choose one that's not Mage. So uh, put it up to a vote. One of the things that has changed with the Grand Tournament is that when you end the arena, you get a random pack now. It is weighted a little bit towards the Grand Tournament, so I am going to be playing a few arenas, so it looks like this free-to-play run, I don't know which class it'll be yet, it's going to depend a lot based on what I open, but I'm excited to play around with a lot of the Grand Tournament cards as well. So, onward to see how well I do in the free arena. You are right to awaken me. Well, well, that's too bad. Oh, this deck. It was so cool. Powered glory to get me started. And uh, it is random packs now. Looks like I got a random classic pack. Classic packs are good to start out with, anyways. Oh, good job. Feel free to try another run in the arena. You've saved enough gold. Let's see. I should uh, get rid of this cla uh, quest. Get any class up to level 10. Let's see. Druid on 8, Mage on 7. Well, let's. Uh, Let's get these packs opened, and then I think I'll level up a quest. Alright, Harvest Golem is a good starter card. Tiger is a good starter card. Berserker is a good starter card. Lightwell and uh, Inner Fire are combo. Light Spawn, that's Priest. Defy String Leader, Worgen. These two are good cards. Oh my gosh, it's telling me to play Priest. Cabal Shadow Priest. Drew the Claw's good. Second Tiger. Alright, some Druid cards. Golden Blood Sail Corsair. It's 100 Dust Boys. One more arena. Hopefully, I get Druid or Mage in this uh, pick. All right, it's mage, so we'll pick mage. My magic will prevail. You've claimed the top arena prize, the Light Forge Key. Oh, ooh. Probably didn't expect a rookie like me to get that key. Good stuff. Oh my gosh, that's a good start to the free to play. Ah, oh, yes. Let's open them up. Hey, double pack. One goblins versus gnomes, too. Goblins versus gnomes is probably the pack type that I will open the least of. Nothing there. Hmm, Temple Enforcer might see playing a priest deck. Early on. Shrinkmeister. That's a card. Alright, well, so far, looks like I've opened quite a lot of priest cards. And kind of uh, get a quick look at the cards I've gotten so far. For Druid, we've got Power, Rest, Soul of the Forest, Drew the Claw, Mage, Snow Chugger, Water Elemental. How's that new? Oh, whatever. Oh, that's new for now. Noble Sack, 
Inner Fire, Shrink Master, Light Spawn, Cabal Shadow Priest. Head Crack Defias. Siege Engine. And Disenchant those. Golden Blood Sail Corsair. Here, let's uh. You get to be the honorary first disenchant. We're off to a good start. I want to hold at least 300 gold. I'm going to buy one classic pack and one the grand tournament pack, I think. I'll do one of each. Since most of the packs that I'm going to be getting from like freebies are going to be classic packs. Even though classic packs are definitely best for new players, I think mixing some in every once in a while is fun. Hmm. Origin Protector. Marinity is a card. Kinda. Prepare yourself for a day of the most <laughs> First TGT pack? Oh my gosh. Alright. The pack opening isn't so lucky so far, but... Hey, we'll uh, open more. Got a reasonable collection of dust. We open the gold rare. Gold rare is pretty good. I think uh, so far one epic, but it's a really good epic. And in the case that I actually use this, then that means I'll save 400 dust by not having to craft one. Since I'm at most getting one more arena, let me open two more packs. So I have a good idea of what to do. So let's do another uh, grand tournament pack. Actually. If I'm getting mostly priest cards, I should consider uh, opening two grand tournament packs. No, I'll do one of each. I still don't have nearly enough of the classics. One apiece. Hmm, some basic cards. Some reasonable cards there. That's a good card. Valiance, pretty fine. MCT is a card. All right, we've got some. Uh, we've got some cards. I'm definitely not planning on buying any of the expansions or the adventures for the free-to-play because even though the adventures do have a lot of good cards in them uh, they do cost 700 gold per wing and that's just for like four or five cards and you multiply them of course that's like 10 cards or 8 cards but the difference is like you usually only use something like uh, one or two of those cards which might be two or four cards when you're when you're starting out it's a lot better to begin with opening packs and then like later on when you're on the more refined stage of the deck building, then you go for the adventures. So I don't anticipate buying any adventures in this free-to-play start. We've got our mage up to rank 14, drew it up to 8. Uh, while I was at PAX, these quests built up. Only start with 40 gold quests, I believe, when you start off your account. At least that's my belief. I don't really know quite how it works. Uh, opened no legendaries yet, and only one epic, but the epic is a really good one. And I think it's because of this epic that I'm going to begin with the priest. Only uh, 10 basic cards so far. 
Let me check my own uh, YouTube channel here for the advice that I gave on building a priest deck, and then go with that first. Look. All right, so I put in the good old two power word shield, two Northshire, shadow word pains, smite. Put in that pay to win cabal shadow priest. I got a temple enforcer in a pack. Eh, I can put in Light Spawn and Shrink Meister to begin with. Acidic Swamp Ooze, Raptor. I'm just uh, going with the default ones as according to my video so far. And then I'll uh, change them up, actually. For that sake, I should not put in the Shrink Meister and the Cabal Shadow Priest and the Temple Enforcer and Light Spawn just yet. I want to see how this changes for my uh, initial if I had no cards set up. Even had a Grubashi Berserker in there. Ogre Champion. And what's that last card? Oh, Shattered Sun. But the nice thing is, uh, we got off to a pretty good start with Arena, getting a 12 win Arena and something like a 6 win Arena. So, uh, I believe I opened somewhere in the ballpark of 6 packs, maybe 7 packs. Actually, if I search up Rare, I'll know how many packs I opened. One, two, three, four, five. I believe I disenchanted a golden rare. Oh, and I have two uh, angry chicken. And I have a cabal shadow priest. So somewhere between like six and seven packs. I'm sure uh, we'll find out. So I can uh, replace, of course, Bloodfin Raptor or Shrink Monster. Get rid of this silly Gurubashi Berserker. Get that cabal shadow priest value in. Need some of the weaker cards. Um, Four drop wise, probably the light spawn is better for now. Temple Enforcer. Could use a few more. Uh, I'll replace that instead of the uh, Stormwind Champ. One of the big problems with going Priest is I'm not going to be able to run Zombie Chow. And I've had to like think a little bit about how I'm going to get away with no Zombie Chow in this deck. And it's going to actually be pretty tough. River Croc can be replaced with the good old money, which I've opened two of. Infiltrator. If I open those, this can work. That bomber should be pretty good. Harvest Gloom will be good. Let's see, what's weakest from here on out? Probably a 4-drop. have a lot of them. Mind Control Tech. I can put that in. I think I don't need that Stormwind Champion. Silent Knight. Um, nah. Just thought about it for a moment. Could have run like some Silent Knight Divine Spirit Inner Fire Combo Wombo, but no. Okay, we'll roll with that for now. I haven't crafted any cards, even though after disenchanting one golden rare, I have 195 dust. Reason for that is because this free to play isn't going to be stuck on Priest necessarily. It's just that I happen to open a Cabal Shadow Priest first, that gives this uh, deck a nice boost early on. There's quite a few Priest cards I do want to craft, but strategy wise, I think I shouldn't craft Priest or class specific cards until I've crafted like more general cards. Uh, I thought a little about how to do a priest free to play and a lot of the cards I would need are actually priest specific so I'm gonna leave it open for now so priest 1.0 or should I call it 1.1 since the basic deck is like 1.0 I'll go with priest 1.1. Nice solid list doesn't look like any terrible cards in here this deck's really good for arena Dark Scale Healer. I think I can replace that for something better. Maybe I open something better. Mookless Champion. Nah. Oh, Tiger. Yeah, Tiger's nice and solid. You know, let's replace the uh, healers with Tigers. 1.0. 1 1.0. In terms of uh, current events, this free-to-play was began, begun September 1st. I did play two arenas prior, which you can see. Just came back from PAX, so PAX Prime, so you'll hear some stories about that throughout. In case you didn't watch the intro video of the free-to-play introduction, 
I am playing on an account not named Trump, so I've covered up the name here. Gonna be fun to see what it's like just getting the experience from a brand new account. I'm not sticking with Priest the entire way necessarily, but of the packs I opened, I opened a Cabal Shadow Priest, so I'm going to go into whatever seems pretty good for what I open, as is what I would encourage most anyone to do. Didn't get the Pax Pox, that's great. Didn't uh, participate in the Lord of the Arena tournament at PAX because I thought that I had a different uh, conflict of schedule, but it turns out that I did not have a conflict of schedule, so I cast the uh, finals of it. It was pretty fun. Would have loved to participate in it. PAX in general. Pretty fun. Went by in a daze. I actually slept for 15 hours yesterday just because there was so much to recover from, but I'm good now. Very exciting opponent. Ooh. Actually have something. Alright. Power overwhelming! Oh, sack pack. Wow. Okay. Who you want me It's pretty strong. Voidwalker. Coin sack packed Voidwalker. From what I hear, by the way, um, this is very shortly after the Grand Tournament was released, so... There are all sorts of exciting Hearthstone news that I got while at PAX. Things like a Dreadsteed, Sacrificial Pack deck kind of existing now. The quality of that deck is uh, remains to be- wow, look at that value. Pow. I'll play this to not overcommit. My first opponent is like, if I put all the taunts in, I can't lose. He always has to hit my taunts. A common first new player mistake. Well, I win. And there's my first star. Yes. Oh, that's a pretty good hand. Guys, I'm not a bully. You have to beat a few people to get to legend. If I could coin Shadow Sudden Cleric, that would provide some really good tempo, but I would. He could dagger up and just kill my guy afterwards. Holy Smite makes sense. I'm gonna take the tempo play. This card is so good that I really wanted to keep surviving, but this play is too strong. No, I don't intend to buy any of the adventures, because when you're doing a free to play and your time frame is exactly one month, uh, I think opening the packs will be a better way. I know that opening the packs will be better than doing the adventures. Push forward. Mind if I roll need? All right, Mad Bomber, don't let me down. Could also just shrink Meister and kill it guaranteed, but. In fact, if I miss, I will play Shrinkmeister. Unless my guy dies, which would suck. Yeah, good job. Push forward. Yeah, that looks like a double smite. Or I could play Senjin. Oh, Shrinkmeister 
pain. That's a good idea. Combo. Go, go, 3-2, crew. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Alright, let's put on this one. Push forward. Ah. Wow. Okay. That's all the area of effect gone. Kept the cleric in my hand to guarantee be able to keep going. Is doing stuff. Watch out. Mind if I roll need? Oh my gosh. The value. Engaging TC one thirty into this location. Eh, good enough. Right away. Hey, give me a minute. Backstab the Nazar Drake. It's okay. Gotta get rid of that. Oh, defy string leader. Nope, that's not actually okay. The 2 3 must die instead of the 3 3. That's actually kind of reasonable since he's using the knife. It's time for him to feel the power of the ogre, though. So yeah, PAX, took off on Thursday, came back on Tuesday, beneath the ground, sick epic. Today is Wednesday, in terms of when this was played, Wednesday, September 1st, wow, ambushed, okay. general overview of what I found out when I went to PAX is that the people are really cool. The events are, uh, they're fine, but standing in line for events, it's kind of resident sleeper. Apparently today is the second. This is not pre-recorded. I slept through all of the first, so I kind of forgot. Divine Spirit, boo. Shall bring victory. Why do you call Pretty good hand again. Ooh. Beginning of a uh, three two should be really good against a one three. Ah, that one bomb mattered. I can save one health on this, but I'm not entirely sure I want to. I can actually play the Northshire Clerk. Oh, I should actually... Hmm. It's tough to say whether I should shield the Northshire or shield this. I should probably shield this to play it out of... Uh... Mortal Coil range. I'm reluctant to play the Northshire Cleric as my card engine. No oh man, I can't handle that much health. Ow. Northshire Cleric Prophet is happening.
Oh my gosh. That's spooky. We must cleanse Unfortunate. I have to play this kind of for tempo. Just to have something on the board, I think. That was a pretty good use of corruption. Gonna try to save my Shrinkmeister Cabal Shadow Priest combo for the late game. When you get to level 20 Priest, will you do the new Tavern Brawl? Absolutely, I intend to get all the freebies possible um, with this account. Not sure it'll be Priest that's the first one to hit level 20, but we'll see. Yeah, I should take that. Let me change your mind. Didn't want the tiger to be in range of getting knife juggler, but that's fine. I unlock Holy Nova at a higher level, so as soon as I do, obviously I'll put that in my deck. Oh, Micro Machine survived. Valley value. To some extent, it feels bad to beat up against these rank 25 guys, but it does... Ouch. It does feel good seeing the skill difference in the game when you match up someone who knows how to play with a lot of experience against presumed new players. Did kind of get wrecked there, but... I'm uh, actually going to be playing out some extra cards just for the experience value. More cards you play, the more experience you get. 